Hi, my name is Bill Timmons. I'm the Marketing Manager for Residential Products at LeGrand Pass and Seymour. And I'm going to be talking about GFCI outlets. Very important product for uh, electrical safety in the home. Uh, what is a GFCI? Well, I've got an example of a 50 amp tamper resistant GFCI right here that can be purchased at a lot of different retail big box and hardware stores. Uh, GFCI obviously is an outlet uh, that you can get power from for uh, an appliance or a tool, but it's also a safety device. In addition to, to providing power, it also saves lives by preventing electrocutions. Uh, it's required by National Electrical Code in kitchens, bathrooms, outdoor outlets, and the way it works is it senses if there is a ground fault, if current is leaking out of the circuit. Uh, this is a potential hazard. It could be uh, leaking to a situation where a person actually using a power tool or an appliance is being electrocuted. So it'll sense that leakage and it'll interrupt the power, therefore preventing that dangerous situation. Now they've been required since about 1972 when Pass and Seymour invented the first GFCI outlet. Uh, they were first required in outdoor uh, outlets and they have since expanded to be required in kitchens and bathrooms, garages and basements. Um, the NFPA that writes the National Electrical Code feels strongly about the performance of GFCI outlets. The number of electrocutions associated with consumer products has actually decreased since 1972. This despite the fact there's been an increase in the U.S. population and the number of outlets in a home and the, electric, uh, the usage of electricity uh, in the average home in the United States. So we feel GFCIs are very effective and are excellent safety devices. Now there's a number of different types of GFCIs. Uh, I mentioned the 15 amp, which is a tamper resistant version. Uh, there's also 20 amp, which can accept a 20 amp plug. Uh, there's models with alarms, so in addition to the indicator light that tells you that you've lost power in the GFCI's trip, there's an alarm that'll have a loud buzzing noise, great for installations that are powering sump pumps, refrigerators, and freezers, where you'd really like to know that you've lost power. Uh, GFCI's with built-in uh, LED night lights with 20-year lives. There's switch GFCI's, very useful for remodel work, where you have a single gang electrical box and you want to add a switch to an outlet. Dead front GFCIs, uh, actually no receptacle or outlet blade openings, uh, they're just used to protect, say, a spa or a hot tub that's actually wired downstream. Portable GFCIs are very useful, it's basically a cord set or an extension cord with built-in GFCI protection for use when you're plugging into an outlet that does not have built-in GFCI protection itself. An important thing with GFCI outlets is to test them periodically. Plug a lamp or another appliance into the GFCI outlet, push the test button, and make sure that power is interrupted. This will tell you that your GFCI is still functional. Uh, GFCIs are well-built, quality, robust devices. So GFCI outlets from Pass and Seymour, an important electrical safety device.